Shane Bardolph thought dark magic was the answer. I reckon Rookwood's played a hand in his disappearance. Excuse me, did you say something about a Bardolph Beaumont? Oh, hello again. How nice to see you. And yes, I did. I was just worrying about Claire Beaumont's brother Bardolph. Only he's gone missing. Rumour is he was seen in the forest practising dark magic. Saw him myself near some ruins with Rookwood's lot I did. I fear he got himself into trouble with the Ashwinders, especially if he made them a promise he couldn't keep. Shame, really. With Ranrock's camps cleared out, I have a feeling he'd have given up on dark magic altogether. I can certainly look out for him. Any help would be appreciated. You might speak to Claire first. Perhaps she has some insights that I don't. I can tell you that Bardolph was last seen in the forest wearing a particular woolen jumper, one that Claire knitted herself. Claire will be at her shop if you'd like to speak with her. You've made up a hog's guild safer, and for that, I thank you. An entry from Bardolph's journal. He overheard whispers, a plan, something to do with him.
This mentions in theory, and something about it being Bardolph's turn next. of your brother. Badov? What do you know of my brother? I regret to say that Badov had been turned into an Inferius, and I had to kill him. What? But, but how could you possibly think that an Inferius was my brother Badov? That's absurd! He was wearing a woolen jumper, hand-knitted. I wish you well, Madame Beaumont. <laughs> what more could I have done? <laughs> oh, Badolf! Confringa! Badolf! Oh, my sincerest gratitude, you brave soul! Bombada. Probably shouldn't do that again. Left without saying goodbye, would you? 